I was, yeah, I just read about Norway that they have like this winding bridge tunnel system that's going to like around these these mountains for right. like 15 miles and for large chunks of it, it like just giant tunnels going through these mountains for like half a mile stretches yeah and then you'll come out of the mountain and you're in a regular highway and then at some point it goes underwater it just didn't explain why it goes underwater i'm not sure what the purpose of that was but i didn't really look that far into like it was so. actually the fastest way to get wherever they were getting like because i do yeah. wonder with mountains do they face the same problem <clears throat> They do drilling those as tunnels underground, you know what I mean? I feel like it could be different, like, subways or... Because I feel like mountains we're used to seeing, isn't there the classic, like, train tunnel thing in the mountain? You know, I right. feel like we've been doing that just because of the mining and stuff, right? We know how to do that. <laughs> just right in the... <laughs> she wants to be right in the This is an important spot, right? Yeah. So... Yeah, I feel like I've seen that on TV and movies and stuff, but not in real life. Right, I'm right. Sure the tunnels Obviously. through, yeah, through the mountains. Yeah, you're saying the might be a little easier. I think they mentioned it didn't go. It was very high level. The video it was not detailed at all. Gotcha. Yeah. But it mentioned that at some points, there's stretches where when hey stop it, there's stretches where uh, there's a lot of like bodies of water that interrupt the highway, and the bodies of water are so wide and so deep that. The best way for them to get across at the moment is they use ferries. So there's like ferries that you can drive your car into. Uh, and then every couple hours the ferry takes off and takes you to the next section. Gotcha. Like the ferry will take you like a couple miles. Right. And then I think some of those stretches are just small enough to the point where they were able to go under with the tunnel. But I'm not sure why they didn't just build a bridge. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe it's too yeah, deep. Yeah, because that's the big question there. Yeah, it's just like. It's got to be challenging, obviously not impossible, but it's like they just decided to keep using ferries. You know, maybe they don't have that many people. They need to go back and forth, right? All right. Speaking of tunnels, look at that screensaver. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, look how Chromecast does that. It <coughs> be a backdrop for it's your funny. living room and shit. It's almost like Google knows what we're talking about. <laughs> funny how that works. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Sync to my cloud, bro. It's all up there now. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I saw. It's pretty cool. And they, they even talked about, like, con different concepts for for tunnels. Okay. Especially in water. Like, they have concepts for floating tunnels, where somehow the, the tunnel is, on both ends, it's stabilized okay. to the earth, to the, the ground. Right. And then throughout the body of water, it's, like, somehow floating with some kind of devices on top that make it just float. Yeah, they don't need it to be supported by the body. <clears throat> That's smart. Right. Buoyancy. So it's buoyant, yeah. Something. Some calculations, yeah. It's cool, right? <laughs> science pretty cool. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, science. <laughs> it was pretty neat. And then, um... No, but can you imagine, like, they could do one of those, like, all the way across or something, like, oceans and shit? I mean, obviously they start smaller, cool. but... Right. I mean, that's huge. It was just plain, planes is mostly everything, at least to Americans, right? Because our train system is nothing. Right. So, you know what I mean? It's, uh... Like, it would take me, in like, nine hours to get to, like, Virginia or whatever, you know, right. as opposed to, like, two hours on a plane. That's where I think they have a bridge tunnel in Virginia as well. That's another one I saw. I think it's Virginia. Ah, okay. And you know what? I think I've been actually, in it. Because I've you've flown, been in it? Yeah, because Newport News, it's, like, right outside of there. When you leave the airport and you're coming in, like, you go down and, like, yeah, and, like, through. So You're, dri you're driving into a tunnel? Yeah, but say... Is so, it underwater or just underground? No, I think it's un underwater. Like, you notice yourself because it's where the Navy bases and stuff are. Yeah, and I think that's what they said. It's near the Navy. Yeah, you, you're literally next to the ships when you come come in on Newport News right there. Like, when I visited that's my the, dad the other that's, year. That's the airport? Yeah. Um, it's, what's, what's Newport? Newport what? Newport News is where, is that city right there that, like, I think the uh, Naval base is on? You know, I think oh. it's the name of that, that city. How do you say, it's called Newport News? Like yeah. Channel 7 News? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. But I was saying, yeah, so I notice when you drive, but I'm trying to, you know, gauge the distance. It's not, like, crazy far, you know, but it's, like, maybe... Right, like a quarter uh, mile? Right, right. I think that you're under there. Maybe so you've been there. So why do they go underwater? Like, is there any guess of why? Well, maybe, I don't know, as opposed to, like, you clear, clearly you would think there could have been a bridge right there, but maybe it has something to do with the ships. They didn't want to have to make it do like this for all the ships, right? 
right. lift and stuff. Like, you know how those never actually get used in Chicago? I've never seen a, a ship actually, right. you know, they need to raise those things for. Like, you I've just want to be really, really inconvenient. Yeah. You know what's funny? That's actually probably why they do it. Because they mentioned on the comments, I actually, at the bottom of the video, I scrolled down to read the comments. Yeah. Because right. I always do that out of curiosity. Right. And people were actually saying some interesting things. Like, oh, yeah, I've been there. I've been there. And this, a couple people were saying that they were not in the tunnel, but they were somewhere near it, and they were looking at it from a distance. And they saw a submarine come up and rise to the surface of the water, and then... Um, oh, like it went over and then where go, the cars were? And go over the bridge, or over the tunnel, and then go back down. So I'm sure, yeah, like for the opposite reason, they probably have the tunnel down here, and then the boats just constantly... Because right. they have the Navy ships constantly going back and forth, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it makes I would sense. think so. Yeah, they wouldn't yeah. S- you know, stay there and watch them too long, or, but I would think so. I just really wonder what's, how big some of those ships are, because it didn't feel like we were going very deep. You know what I mean? Like a submarine would make sense, but you know what I mean? Like a battleship. I bet they never need to come in that far is a thing, right? You know, uh-huh. like the really big ones. Well, it didn't feel that deep, but it might have been deeper than you thought. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're inside a car. You, you might know. have you might have been like on a constant, slight downslope. Who knows? I don't know. But right, right. That's pretty cool. So I wonder how all that technology kind of relates to Elon Musk's ambitions to like create these mega tunnels right. underground. Yeah, see, because that was for you know cars, or whatever. But it's a whole vacuum. If he wants them to be, you know, vacuum sealed, mm. the ones in that screenshot or. You know, well, yeah, in that video was, like, that was all green. It was super, you know, clean and, like, white cement on the outside. It looks just, like, way more official, you know, than those than those tunnels are. But, I don't know, that, that boring company, I guess, uh, did they talk at all about, like, how long it would take necessarily to do the kind of things? Like, I don't, I imagine that machine's pretty slow. But, shit, if it was working 24-7, you could get there. I'm not sure about the time, but I know it's too expensive, you said. Like, uh-huh. right now they're working on making it cheaper, like in enhancing the technology. Okay. To, he said it has to be ten times cheaper than it is now to to be viable. Yeah, like worth doing. It's, uh... Yeah. Hmm. So that's where, where that stops, I guess, for now. I mean, it's something that could just pop up and get easier if someone, you know, finds a way, you know, cracks some invention and all right. that. That's kind of like what he did with the electric car. Like, the electric car was kind of like, oh, uh, you know, you can have... Like, there was one electric car, like Prius, and it was kind of like... Yeah, yeah just all right. <laughs> it wasn't cool, it wasn't fast, it was slow. It was, yeah, it was meant for you know, efficiency right. more than anything. Whereas he came along and said, no, we can actually we can do this. We can make them fast, we can make them cool, make them powerful, and, like, be able to go 300 miles like a normal car. Right, right. On one... F- charge but yeah that's kind of what he did like he took that jump to improving that so that's his goal with this I guess do you think he'll do it he he hasn't let us down yet has he (laughs) I mean I don't know the whole SpaceX like whatever stuff he's you know I think talked about sought after he's mostly gotten there I haven't heard about many of his pipe dreams I guess but right yeah I don't know. The uh, I don't know if I want to transition, or if there is any transition to that. I've still been into that one book, the AI book. I'm about like five hours deep now. I think like four oh, and a really? half something. Yeah, just doing like forty minutes a day, dude. It's it's uh, a lot. Continued to impress me for sure. That's a lot of AI information. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, you know, it's not just like pounding you know more of that into your brain. It's just telling you how um like where the powers are at now like um like oh, between okay. how china's been trying to you know take over the tech dominance from silicon valley kind of thing it's, right, it's right. you know all about about that stuff one of the more interesting things he talked about was just like with the way china set up he actually calls it their uh wow tech you utilitarian well I should I should remember this now but they're they're kind of government like their government is pushing them into technology mm. and you call it like tech utilitarian or something um, oh, okay. and basically I don't know just like 
can you imagine he was over there? He was saying he saw college students like uh, get uh, fill the streets at night because the dorm lights go off at 11 p.m. It's just built in. So to keep studying, floods of students come out of their dorms and study in the in the night lights. Oh, really? Like, it's just like, a, <laughs> like can crazy. you imagine, right? It's just like the yeah. work ethic over there is, wow. is different. Right, because I've never not, in my life see <laughs> see someone right. like uh, so desperate. Like they they like crave the knowledge. Like they're they're after whatever he gives lectures and stuff. He's just right. bombarded with people. I don't know. Yeah, ask some questions. I just feel like that that is just one of the you know many factors that like right. they talked about with all that. But then I, it's always seems like a stereotype, at least in America, that Silicon Valley is like the beacon of technology right but is china actually you, you think more advanced than silicon valley and it, he explains this only happened in the past like eight years like since 2007 because they took they literally did the co- copycats like there was literally a guy that took like twitter and made it work you know exact copy of it in uh you know in china mm-hmm. but then it's like that's so, and then, you know, American companies and media would always look at that as, oh, you know, they can't actually create their own stuff. You know, they're just cop- copycats. And right. it started out that way, and they did that for a long time. But then when all the companies in China do that, then they had to fight each other, right? To get the, uh, because to get the upper hand. Like, oh, if whatever I make, you can reverse engineer and make tomorrow, then I have to make it better or, like, you know, get uh, put massive cuts or what do you call it? Um, subsidies on their stuff. You know, basically like, oh, join this. You know, you get it free or whatever. Right. However, they make it cheaper than the competition to then get ahead. And basically, because of all that, it's just set them up to be at a really good spot to overtake Silicon Valley. Like, they literally talk about the top seven AI AI companies in the world right now are four American ones and three. Um, Three ones from, I don't know if they're all from China, if he says, but I think I think it is, yeah. And some of them are actually because I'm so into video games, right. they actually happen to own like a lot of video game companies. They're one of those overarching things, just like right. um, just like Amazon and stuff is here, you know. Right. It, it's those. But it's not like an Amazon type of company, right? Like, so. I mean, in some ways, but so they have a a super app. They they're saying things work differently over there. They have like one app, in generally which they do everything. Like, can you imagine Who's if they? you're like the Chinese citizens? Can okay. you imagine if you use one app to do everything from like get get money for your job, book your your travel, buy groceries, buy everything? You know, imagine if he was saying he did one thing. If you're you know, Netflix, Amazon, this and that, we're all in one app. Like, you know, I've been listening for five hours, but in oh, short, okay. it's like that. that's what happened to for them to create this super app, and that's what they, why they have they such a good it, spot. But don't they, okay, well, that's interesting. What's mm-hmm. this book called? It's the uh, AI Superpowers. Um, that's the, <laughs> that's the general. That's the title? Yeah, AI superpowers. So it's, it's a good book. I recommend so. it. Oh yeah, for sure. As I don't know my other favorites, just in the it's all definitely more towards learning, not necessarily for entertainment. Um, I mean, I find it entertaining because right. I think I'm just more nerdy than most. But it's a little more like in depth. Yeah, it's a little more in depth. Not yeah, not really meant to, you know. Yeah, I would say entertain, make you laugh, anything, but. Right. I think it says talks about some really interesting subjects about where where the technology power sits currently in the world. I mean that's really what it's talking about. Gotcha. And, that's cool. For sure. That's all I've been doing. <laughs> awesome. Man. What about you, Delilah? Should we see how the video turned out or just keep going? We can stop it. I think it was a, a good run. A good 10 minutes? Yeah, we could, um, we could then. Maybe then we can try and work on. Have a good 